Good morning, afternoon and evening my crazies. My name's Angela and I'm the Crazy Poppy Lady and I'd like to welcome you back to Whips and Bits 33. Cripes, it's going fast, isn't it? Right, um, so today I've got a couple of little bits for you um, with a couple of little explanations as to why I've done what I've done in the order I've done it. Bit cryptic there I know, but you'll get there in a minute. Uh, or you'll understand it in a minute. Right, so on today's lineup, we have got first off is our catch up from last week. Yeah, I've been a bit psycho crazy this week with um with videos. I'm trying to get a video out to you every day for at least the next twelve days. Um, and that although they are only short sharps, so that means it's something that you can watch while you've put the kettle on to make a cuppa because you know it's only going to be what five minutes or so nothing too big it this is the big one this is the lengthy one which if i'm lucky i'll get to 30 minutes but no my luck it'll probably only be 20 because <laughs> i'm rubbish <laughs> right so for the videos this week um it's the 12 days of christmas now this isn't just oh, sorry about that that was delivery guy now where was i right that was it um the 12 days of christmas although i've said it's 12 days the um, videos are not going to be 12 days back to back. There will be gaps in between like there was this week. So um, the gaps will be things like um, the end of the mystery cow, which was last week. Maybe I'll try and sneak in a couple of patterns as well, um, as well as any breaking news or anything like that. OK, so that's why my 12 days of Christmas will be stretched out. And the reason the the short and sharp is because I want to keep the momentum going and as hubby, hubby's um, got me working in the office I haven't got enough time in my day to make lots of long videos and then do all the editing and everything else because hey I do cut out quite a few um, choice phrases and um, not even naughty swear wordy ones just ones that I don't think will um, be understood as well in other countries or may sound quite offensive in other countries so right let's get on with the um video catch-up because that's what i was meant to be doing right so with the video catch-ups i put these two guys out first and second so this is number one my very first attempt at this pattern um and I'm going right back to the beginning with my crocheting okay these are literally the things I made within three months of picking up a hook so if I can do them pretty much any of you can now on the crisp 12 days in oh, pants so in the 12 days of Christmas set in the drop down menu there will be a list by the end of the 12th day you will have links to all of the patterns I've shown okay so and I put these ones up first because these do take a lot longer to do and to whip out than any of the decorations on the tree all right so there was Rudolph that's day one stay put and then we have the snowman at day two now this is um, snowman mark two <laughs> first year snowman there is a photo in there and you have full permission to crack up fall off your seat and laugh your head off because they are scarily bad to the point i could have probably used them as halloween decorations bad so if you haven't seen that video and you you're up for a giggle pop over and see it because those images are so funny and one of them didn't actually make the cut even for a photograph back three years ago um it that was the very first one now the only way i could have improved that very first one was if it was a yarn bath and i just stuck um a nose and some buttons to it and called it a melted snowman that is pretty much the only way that very first snowman <laughs> would have resembled a snowman <laughs> right so then for day three of the set we have got the oh you can't see that one We've got the um, reef ornaments here. There is another one hiding around there as well. I'll have to move it over later. <laughs> right, and the pattern link for that one is on there as well. And 
a description on how I change things up is on that video and then the last one up for the set is the stocking and how my stockings went completely wrong when I first tried them but again it's something that I've put in so that you can see that even when we do muck up a bit if you swap if you sometimes don't rip it back straight away and just go with the flow sometimes it works out for you other times it doesn't but shh, we don't say things like that and then my sneaky video was the 2020 mystery cow it is finally the border now the border is um i've got to be careful what i say here because i've promised i won't spoil it too much so um i'm just going to read the title so that if any of you are following along with it i can't spoil it too much can i right so the christmas cow is the 2020 mystery christmas cow and it is a candy chain board uh candy cane border all right so that's all i can really tell you about that without spoiling it for others that are hoping to get on with it in the next week or so or maybe next year now i am going to be honest and later on in the video i will be showing my finished one um, and there will be a disclaimer so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show that whip or show my whips and completed projects at the end of the video so then there's only a little bit of mucking around for me um with adding that up and it means that if you are planning and wanting uh, planning to make it and wanting it to be a surprise then that's where you can just cut the video off and go and visit someone else or check out some of the older videos or the ones from this week at least hope that makes sense right um now on to some um non crochet related stuff a liam story right a liam has been at it again the little toe rag now my daughter what was it on sunday last week it was after i'd filmed last week's whips and bits or should i say she was out whilst i was filming it but it didn't make it into last week's because i was too busy laughing and um I couldn't control myself enough to be able to tell it to you like tell you what happened so here goes right she was taking him out for a walk she got to the other side of the estate and he's he's on an extender lead and he's sniffing around on the grass and she was watching him she was checking he wasn't um dropping a bomb that she had to pick up so she's watching him and all of a sudden he looks over at her looks at the floor and then sort of takes three or four steps and then just stops and holds up his paw so of course my daughter's animal lover animal mad and she doesn't like seeing any animal injured so she's gone up to him and he's let her check her paw over no flinching no nothing so she sends me a message um like a verbal message mum liam's hurt his paw it looks like he might have um, as he was walking gone into a dip and maybe caught a claw I'm carrying him home so there I am straight away send her a message back like a verbal message so that she could hear it straight off don't pick him up don't do nothing just stand there he will start walking when he's ready he's being a cantankerous toe rag and doing to you what he did to your dad a few weeks ago right well it's about 10 or 15 minutes later the front door goes and I hear her go get in there you toe rag and so he plods in happy as anything prancing on all four feet like a flipping show pony you know like one of them dancey ones that they do to music where the paws go like that uh, the hoods sorry he does the same thing and so he's there with all the four of his legs going like that and I'm like her foot she's gone he's a snot bag and I was like, well, what do you mean? She goes, I carried him all the way back home until we got to the road outside the house. She goes, I had to put him down. My arms felt like they were falling off. She goes, as soon as I put him down, and I did it gently, Mum, honestly I did. And I'm like, yeah, no, I know you would. She's like, well, I put him down. He looks at me, gives the best smile he has in ages and proceeds to prance across the road to the house. There's nothing wrong with him, is there, Mum? I was like no did you check your message she went no I went you might want to check it so she's checked her message she's gone I wish I'd checked my message before I carried him home I'm going upstairs so um 
he wasn't in her bestest books for a good couple of days every time I said to her do you fancy taking him out he would look at her and lift up his paw as if to say you're carrying me and she's like no I'm not taking him out if I have to carry him cantankerous toe rag he's not a small dog is he if he was like a little shih tzu or something like that he wouldn't be so bad but he's he's a relatively decent sized dog he's like the size of um a male collie yeah a male collie so he is a decent size and he is muscly so muscly right I, I got woken up this morning and I um, by my daughter and husband talking I was absolutely cracking up in bed now yesterday right here's the backstory yesterday I was cleaning the lounge carpet um, and it's it's my pre-christmas decoration put up clean so everything from top to bottom gets cleaned skirting carpets the walls everything so I'm quarter of the way through doing it which means I've already dragged out the two seater sofa hoovered and carpet cleaned there waited for that to dry moved the three seater into the spot the two seater was in and then clean hoovered and carpet cleaned that spot waited for that to dry and then my husband came home for lunch and reminded me that we had somebody coming round to measure up because we're getting new front door and back door for the property so he um he helped me move the three seater into where the two the place where the two seater was so i'd done all that and then we had this meeting about the front and the back door that all decisions were made quite quickly with me and my husband we knew what we wanted it took the chap about an hour for him to type it all in and for the computer to say yes instead of no um, and then he went off and then it was just a case of clearing the other end of the lounge and moving a single seat chair out so that I could do that area as well as so I last night I'm back it sort of started giving up by the time I'd finished cleaning the carpet that's underneath all the sofas and chairs right so I hadn't bothered doing the rest of the carpet right that that bit I'll be doing later once I finished it um editing this one right so I'm laying in bed and I've heard dad 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 and my husband's like what he's got and my youngest has gone I'm in so much trouble and he's, he's like well why's that she goes i let liam out he's gone yeah she's gone he's come speeding in and he's put dirty muddy footprints everywhere he's been digging on the grass like digging in the garden and there's footprints throughout the whole house dad and my husband's like oh you are in deep doo-doos it's not even been 12 hours since mum finished cleaning the carpets and they're already covered in footprints and well at least they're not mine and I could hear the stress in my daughter's voice and the fact that she was a bit overly worried and I couldn't send her to school like that because of course my husband was taking my daughter in today like, and dropping her off so I've just shouted out don't panic kiddo I've not actually cleaned anything else but the bit that will stay clean the bit under the sofa <laughs> so I'm there I'm cracking up my daughter's cracking up and she's like oh thank god for that my husband's like oh, you are so evil Ange I was hoping I could get at least another five minutes of panic out of her before I told her the truth. He's so evil. Right, so now for a little bit of breaking news. It's a little bit late. I'm really, really sorry, but it still does apply. Um, my favourite shop in Australia, um, Spotlight, have done it again and they've stuck out another coupon code this is looking like we get a new one sort of every week or every other week doesn't it but at the moment they have got coupon codes and discounts going on for their yarn again now they've also got a sale so the sale starts on wednesday the 9th of december and it goes through till the 24th of december um so you can get um, the valuable angel cake and they're 100 grams and they are normally priced up at eight bucks but at the moment you can get them for four bucks each so that's a two for one deal isn't it really that's wicked they've also got their valuable chunky grand which is 300 grams regular price is 13 bucks and they've got it down to six 
bucks fifty. They've also got fifty percent off of the Bella Baby Toot Garouk. Oh, fingers crossed, I got that correct. And that is a four ply fifty gram balls. The regular price is four twenty five, but they've got it down to two bucks thirteen cents or whatever that little number is. Um, and that is each. And they've also got the Bella Baby baby wonder four ply a hundred and it's a hundred grams the regular price is seven bucks it's now down to three bucks fifty and the moda Vieira ombre delights and you get four of those in a pack and it's four fifty gram balls regular price is 17 bucks um and they're now down to eight bucks fifty so i'm sitting here doing a bit of mental math going hmm is it worth it <laughs> um so but not a bad little price and also if you are a VIP club member okay they are running on Saturday and Sunday only so it might be a little bit late hopefully I can't remember which way around it goes but hopefully it still applies for you guys they've got a two two days of um, VIP membership stuff you can get 50% um, off of the valuable valuable crinkle sprinkle eight ply now that is the yarn that i used on the border for my unicorn blanket and just in case you're wondering where that yarn came from that's where it's from um also they have um a clearance nothing over 99 bucks <laughs> okay um so and it's in store only and the sale ends on the 8th of december also in some stores at the moment they are doing multi-pack balls of the valuable um cotton blend cake yarns now they've got them for 10 bucks for a pack of three of these um of the balls i'm sorry i don't know the weights or anything oh yes i do it's there <laughs> it's uh three times 100 grams so not too bad a price for that and they've got eight bucks for angel cake or 13 cakes using the 40 off the 40 off voucher that you may still be able to use which would knock the price down to four pound 92 each so again really good right so on to completed items this week um i've got a cheeky one first that you saw last week or the week before which is the chocolate bonbon hat by crystal at bag a day i'll pop a link down below and one above now i made this for my daughter and uh, um the pom-pom that came with um the yarn was rubbish i'll be able to use it on something else but it'll probably be a baby's item um, so of course I'd got my pom-poms and I from June so this one has now got a new pom-pom on so she's pretty chuffed with it although she keeps forgetting to take it with her when she goes out <laughs> normally to school but then she'll forget her coat so you remind her about the coat and forget about the hat the gloves and everything else and she'll remember once it snows and then the second one was my hat now if you've seen the videos this week I've been wearing it pretty much throughout now it is um the majority of it i should say is Chris another one of crystal at bag of days and it is a hound hound's tooth hat so link above and link below now i thoroughly enjoyed working this one okay i've probably not quite mastered the stitch yet um it looks all right from a distance <laughs> um, so i'm happy with it i like the way it is but it's not quite there yet i think i need a bit more practice yet before um i go any bigger now i got so carried away with this one now the plan was that when i got near the end of it i was gonna record how i do the rolled rolled edge um but i got carried away i was thoroughly enjoying it and so i didn't record it i just kept going i thought oh crikey when i got to the end i was like you daft donut you're meant to have recorded that so it looks like i'm gonna have to make another hat and hopefully I'll remember next time to video it for you all 
Um, now the differences on this one is I got carried away whilst I was doing this section which is um, just going round and round and round and round with the same stitch count. So once I got past the increase, the section where Crystal was showing us how to increase it and I just started going round and round and round, I didn't bother counting my rows and I didn't actually return to the video for the edging. So apologies Crystal if I've mucked it up a bit um, or if it doesn't quite look the same as yours. Now this one I've decided is a multi-wear. I could wear it three different ways. My daughter finds this hilarious when I say this to her. Right so I'm gonna sort of shove it on and show you. Right so let's take them off for a second. First one is it's a beanie. Okay straightforward nice and tight to your head right but then flip the brim, brim down wiggle it up a bit and we've got a slouchy ish right and then if it was for a teenager you flip it down again and pull it over and then they're pretty chuffed because like they're ignoring you like normal <laughs> and you can see through the holes so they can still be on their mobiles <laughs> sorry i'm in one of them moods again right let's just sort this one out oh take it off and stuff I just, I've been saying it for a couple of days now and my daughter's just like, Mum, you're a freaking lunatic. But it's a good thing, isn't it? Right, so Liam has sneaked in because he saw me sneak up with food. Oh, and so's Pippi. Right, you've got the pair of them. Fingers crossed neither of them decide to uh, try and stop the recording. Right, <clears throat> so here's your three minute warning or however long. From this point on, anything in the video is related to the Christmas cow so I'm putting my warning up now so if you don't want the cow spoiled because you're determined to do it and be surprised at the end and um, head off now catch up on any videos you missed or pop over and see um, another creators channels or just have a nice day um, and I'll say goodbye to you and please stay in definitely stay safe and ta for now um, if you're staying around because you really want to see it, it's sitting on my lap, <laughs> right. Right, so within the video itself, um, there were a couple of sneaky bits that you got to see. You got to see probably about that much and the border, okay. Right, so let's scoot back and you can have a look. Make sure I miss everything that's on the floor. <laughs> right. Do, 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 do. Here he is. So of course, most of my patterns are girly. So I thought it was about time I did one that was a bit more laddish. Um, hence why I went for the blue. Now there you've got the... Um, was it that's your colour A which is your dark one and your light one there so if you're coming on and you're going to be making your own version of this and you wanted to change out the colours now you've got the visual so you can see um, which way round you want to put the colours and maybe even veer off from a dark and a light and do something completely different but at least now you know what it looks like so I'm going to put some more pictures of it up that I'm just about to take and I'll come back and talk to you about it a little bit more in a moment. How am I meant to take photos with a pair of them on the bed? Really didn't think that through did I? right so the details for this one are measurement wise um size with the border is 23 inches by 33 inches or if you work in centimeters that is 58.5 centimeters or um by 84 centimeters if you don't include the um, candy cane border it should be measuring at around 22 inches by 32 inches or 56 centimetres by 81 centimetres. Um, and now I used for my one 4mm hook, a DK yarn. 
Now, mine was actually the Audi So Crafty range, but of course with Audi, you never know if you're going to be able to get the colours in. So, other makes are quite easy and um, more obtainable than the Audi. Um, so for me, I think my one's come in at a gorgeous cot size um, blanket and it would look absolutely a gorgeous if you did it in an Aran or, or larger, uh, thicker wool. Right, um, right, so if you're heading out to grab the yarn for it now, as you've decided you actually like the pattern and you want to do it, you are going to need to get in white or on off white. Uh, what are we on? 170 grams of white. You're going to need 50 grams of black, 5 grams of orange or a yellowy orange for the beak and the um, feet. You'll also need your dark blue at 25 grams and 25 grams of the light blue as well. So to be honest it's not a mega pricey one if you can find little balls of 25 grams or if you rage your scrap balls and have a nose there and see what you got there as well. All right I'm gonna head off now Thank you every, everybody for watching and I will see you all soon so please stay in if you can and definitely stay safe. Ta-ra for now.